So today I'm going to be sharing the secret behind one of my absolute favorite chocolate frostings of all time. It is so, so easy to make, is great for piping and just tastes straight up incredible. So begin by placing 225 grams or one cup of room temperature unsalted butter in a bowl and using a hand or stand mixer on a medium speed, mix for a few minutes until the butter is light and fluffy. What this does is it helps to lighten up our frosting and make it more fluffy because we're incorporating air into our butter. Next, you want to add in 570 grams or four and a half cups of icing sugar, also known as powdered or confectioner sugar. And you want to do this in three batches while mixing on a low speed so that the icing sugar doesn't fly everywhere. And you want to make sure each batch is mixed in well before adding in the next batch. Now, I know this may seem like a lot of icing sugar, but I promise this frosting isn't too sweet. And we're also making a decent amount of frosting, so this batch will completely frost an eight inch two layer cake. Now, once all the icing sugar is mixed in, then our secret ingredient is next, which is 335 grams or one and a half cups of cold cream cheese. Now, if you've never tried a chocolate cream cheese frosting before, then you are missing out. Trust me, it is so incredibly delicious. And once you try this frosting, you will never go back to regular chocolate frosting. Now, along with the cream cheese, you also want to add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and then give it a mix just until the frosting is nice and smooth. Avoid over mixing it. And then last but not least, 75 grams or three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. I would recommend using Dutch processed if possible. And I like to kind of fold some of my frosting over the cocoa powder so that it doesn't go everywhere when I start to mix. And then you just wanna mix that all together until it just combined. Again, do not over mix because the more you mix, the more the liquid in the cream cheese will dissolve the icing sugar, which means the runnier your frosting is going to become. Okay, and that is literally it. You are left with the most incredibly delicious chocolate cream cheese frosting. It is honestly so incredibly good and basically tastes like a really rich, creamy chocolate frosting. And if you didn't know that it had cream cheese in it, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell. Time to taste test. Mmm. It is so good. This frosting just makes me happy. Like you have to be careful not to eat this entire bowl before you frost your cake. It's honestly just so good. If you decide to give this recipe a go, then don't forget to leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content reach more people and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.